Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a template helper in Home Assistant, especially the occupancy sensor for MTR1. So MTR, I've recently bought the MTR1 from Apollo Automation and by default the MTR1 does not provide the occupancy like detected versus clear uh, for as a sensor. So what I ended up doing was creating a template helper for those entities. Uh, that way I can use it uh, in my dashboards. So the template helper is really, if you're not aware, it's a powerful tool that allows you to create a custom variables and calculations based on the data for from your home assistant sensors and entities. Uh, and I wasn't aware until I needed this and then I figured, wow, like this is pretty useful. So let me show what I have learned from that. So let's first head over to the Home Assistant interface and navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, Helpers. And you can go in directly as well if you want to by just typing in the slash config slash helpers. So here I've already created the MTR1 occupancy. So let me create one more. So here you have all these types of sensors, but I'll create a template sensor. And in template sensor, you have two options, binary sensor and the sensor. So the binary sensor is basically, uh, we need to return like on and off, true and false. And based on the class, device class or the state class, it will interpret the on and off uh, states. So for occupancy, it will define on as detected whereas off or false as clear. Uh, but since I want to create a temp a template sensor, I can have my own text rather than just on and off. But you can use a binary sensor. So it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Go right here as a, give it a name. And then in the state template, this is where your code will go through. So I already have the code. So I'm just going to paste the code in here. And then later on, I'll show you how you can validate the score or write the score and test it out before you paste it here. But since I've already done that, I've directly pasted it here. But in short, like what I've done is created two variables here with for occupied and clear. And I'm using these target presence, target count, and the move, moving count. And just checking for whether the target count or the moving count is greater than zero, then it's occupied. Otherwise, it's clear. So it's pretty simple. And I think I need to change this because I need to check the still state and the move state. And if it is greater than zero, then it's occupied, else it's clear. And as you can see, it already shows you a preview of occupancy. Right now it's clear and it tells you that which entities it's following the state change events. So these are the two entities that's following up, like which have used here. And I'll leave these uh, blank because I don't need any of these right now. Okay. And then when you click on submit, then it created. So you can have, see it's created. I already have one, but this is the one we just created now. So if you head back to make sure that, okay, whether this entity is created correctly or not, to test it out, you can go to developer tools, and then states. And then here you can search based on that. So we created the target occupancy so this is the one we created so it's a sensor it's a target occupancy and now i think someone is in this room so now it says it's occupied right so this is the state you can make sure that okay you know that it works so that you can use this entity in your dashboard or in your home interface home assistant interface so while we are here in the developer tools one neat feature is like before you have this all this code written for your state template you can head to the developer tools template 
and as you can see they already have a demo template and this is the results so the templating engine is used as the Jinja 2 and they have a pretty good documentation here I can quickly show you the documentation So you can head over here for more syntax and then the extensions for home assistant. So this is the templating engine you have used and then you can scroll through and see all the examples. It's pretty extensive and useful. And for my code, like you can pretty much delete this and then put in the code, the one I had put in. So you can also come in here, test it out and if you if you are satisfied this is what the results you want and there, there are no errors then you can use this code and once you're done you can either clear it and then if you want to reset you can reset to the demo template so it's back to what they have which has a good example to start off with if you have if it's the first time you're doing the temp templating engine so that's about it. So now let's go back to the dashboard. So here the dashboard, this is the one I've used. So as you can see, if you go to the settings, so this is the occupancy. And this is already, I have uh, the templating engine. So this is what I've used. And then, yep, so here is this. So just to show that it's using that, Let's go back to the helper and this is the one I'm using. So let me and then go to templating engine sensor. If you change the text and then go back to. So here you see. The occupancy the text so this is what i like about the template sensor as opposed to the binary sensor where it by default has a text of detected verse and clear which is what it does here on the other ones which i've used so this one you can put in your own text if you want to and not have it as a default text so that's about it hope you like the video and uh, Make sure you click on like and subscribe and th this is my first video so thank you for watching hope this helps